action at the tables is too hot for your blood, cool down in the infinity pool located on the roof deck. Miss Baker is expecting you. Just go on in. Ah, oh, good. Thank you for coming. I think I mentioned we have some ownership problems. Mr. Duggan. Exactly. The Duggan family. They want to buy this place, but first they mean to destroy it so they can rebrand it, write off all its debts, and get it cheap, then turn it into a tacky dump. I feel awful asking for your help, but I obviously cannot go to the police, and we are trying to avoid a trade war or an international dispute. The Changs are considered respectable businessmen. They're not. The Chinese government cannot stand them. I know, but they pay me to say that. At the same time, Tao, Tao Cheng, our owner who you met, has disappeared. Ugh. Now, normally when Mr. Cheng disappears for three days, I think no big deal. Party, few crash car, and everything's fine when I write a few checks. But this time, he go out to score Crystal, and he don't come back. He said something about a contact in the desert, uh, a meth dealer he had met, and now we think he's been kidnapped by some bikers out near Sandy Shores. Really the last thing we need. Another scandal. Is there any way you can head out there and have a look for him? <laughs> Champagne, anyone? Okay, we think Mr. Chang is at an old abandoned motel in Sandy Shores, and hopefully alive, too. It's still not clear if this is a kidnapping or an extended after-party. It's probably a bit of both. But we need him back here at the casino as soon as possible. The Duggins have stepped up their takeover attempt, and we need our owner here to keep things calm. No matter how wired he might be. I don't think the Duggins are behind the kidnapping itself. They're major investors in a private military company, so if they wanted Tao taken, they have plenty of big men with guns to do it. No, these are just regular old meth-dealing bikers, who are not going to like seeing you show up to spoil the fun. Please, just find Tao and bring him back here.
Well, thank you again. And anyway, I hope this will be the last of it, and we can make the Duggins go away. <laughs>
The race book is open and the horses are running at the inside track. Stop by and play. Here they are. Hey, I'm so glad you came. So, I presume you've read some of the bad press we are getting, or heard the news. Yes, it's a real problem, and we've got the best security in the city. Which is why it's a setup. Indeed, it's a setup, madam. My team and I are doing our best, but we have to be vigilant. You don't want any problematic negativity. Uh, George, eyes left. Watch no, that guy. we don't. Not anymore. We cannot afford any additional lawsuits. Well, our acquaintances here look innocuous enough. And from what I understand, they can handle themselves. So how about we take a little tour and deal with any miscreants? Miscreant. Interesting word. Very. What would you like me to call the assholes the Duggins pay to start fights? Whatever you like. But stop them as soon as you can. And next time, how about not letting them in? My friends, shall we perambulate around the campus? Uh, before you go, anyone for a little champagne? <sighs> God, give me strength. Follow me. You know what's happening, right? The Duggins are paying people to start fights. Been happening all week, and social media is starting to take notice. Looks clear over here. Let's head over to the main floor. Disorderly conduct blemishes our reputation, and we pride ourselves on our reputation. And it could put us out of business entirely. Those are the hillbillies on the Douglas payroll. Call them down. Stop this truck. Fuck! 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 Ah. You okay? Take those bites! 
go after Wait, him. what's up with this? Don't worry about it. They're valets. Get him inside. Come on. Come on. Are you there? Get that car back by any means necessary. We cannot afford to lose a multi-million dollar asset right now. Particularly when it's not insured.
What an unfortunate business. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Well done. I think we managed to quell the unfortunate uprising, madam. Well done, Vincent. Any ideas? I imagine it was someone who wishes to besmirch the good name of this institution. Uh, yeah, Yo, we know that. Sorry to interrupt here. Brucey Kibbutz. Can we talk about health and wellness for a second here? Excuse me? Brucey Kibbutz, I want to talk to you about the mindfulness and exercise director's position. Not right now. I'm kind of busy. Oh, you're, you're too busy Whoa. to discuss health and well-being? Call guest services, sir. Make an appointment. <laughs> Very amusing. Do I look like I make appointments, bro? I am the appointment! <sighs> anyway... Thank you. Again, I hope I don't have to ask for your further assistance, but I fear I shall. An adult oasis in the heart of Los Santos. Live it up by putting money into a machine where things spin and make noises. Oh, hey. Good to see you. Listen, Mr. Cheng has agreed to a meeting with the Duggan family. I'm worried. It's a very complex situation. They're clearly not above some fairly heavy tactics. And given the dubious nature of the Cheng's fortune, I can't really ask for help. Can you come with us? Thank you. Let's party! These little boys are good, right? I'm going to give them a day. A day! It is the strangest thing ever since he tried new personal trainer for her. He's very excited, very angry, lots of exercise. Oh, Jesus. A juiced up meth head and an angry pair of Texans. Debbie, can you have two cars brought around front and make it quick?
take us to the Marlow Winery. You know what we are doing there? We are meeting Avery and Thornton Duggan, Texan investors. They have been trying to buy the casino. Mr. Cheng laments their methods. They have been very aggressive, very dishonest, a hostile takeover with dirty tricks. They were behind all the bad behavior at the Diamond recently, except for Mr. Cheng's. Mr. Chang is expressing his frustration. They are very heavy handed. The trainer, Brucey, he said he would work on Mr. Chang's mind and body. So far, it's just high intensity training. Lots of performance enhancing drugs and very little mindfulness. Fuck mindfulness! You see, he is very angry. These bull shock pills, they are worse than the crank. That's how we roll, bitches! Mr. Chang is very excited. It is very important meeting. If we can persuade them the casino is not for sale, maybe they will go away and leave us to exploit Americans' gambling and alcohol addictions in the name of entertainment and peace. Yeah! It's up here. We are almost there. You can park up there. Out on the terrace if you want to follow me. Jesus. 
can see what all those private military investments have got them. So glad you could come to the vineyard. A little Cabernet? No. You wanna do burpee? Uh, excuse me, son? You wanna do burpee? Box? What? You got a problem? Uh, neither me nor my nephew have a problem that I'm aware of. We love China. Always have. <laughs> Ever since I ate my first egg roll. Well, you see, I never liked eggs. And an egg roll don't have eggs in it. <laughs> I thought to myself, I like China. I just <laughs> did. What my uncle was trying to say is... <laughs> Excuse me. I was not finished. Uh, excuse me, sir. It's not a problem, Thornton. Well, now, boy, you're gonna sell us your casino. Don't get no confusion about that. See, I want it, so all we're here to discuss is a fair price. Mr. Chang's very sorry, but casino's family business and not for sale. You boys are making a very big mistake. Thornton, will you excuse us for a moment? And why don't you take Miss... It is Miss, ain't it? Yeah. Miss Agatha Baker and show her the expansion proposals we were discussing. Okay, Uncle. I think I should stay. I strongly advise that you should leave. This is significantly above your pay grade. Very good. Just follow me, Miss. <laughs> what was that? A ball buster. I don't know. Uh... Anyway, Mr. Chen, I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't give two fucks about who your family is or how many ninjas you got up your sleeve. Am I making myself clear? <laughs> Where I come from, you don't get to pull a gun unless you're willing to use it. But maybe you do things differently in your part. Now, when I return, we will continue this conversation as gentlemen. Now, on second thought, I ain't a gentleman. Shoot the bastards! Yeah, 
They drop me at the Pacific Bluff Country Club. The Changs are members here. Hello? What's that noise? Get over here when you can.
what's happening. They dropped me at the Pacific Bluff Country Club. The Changs are members here. Hello? What's that noise? Get over here when you can.
I'll bet you'll be ready to use that the second you get out the door. I'm 